What's up guys? This is the Broken and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode we have been sieging the city of Vilnius but the garrison seeks like they want to come out and play. So let's do this garrison of Vilnius. Um, yeah, we have got a few things going on in this episode. We've got a... Uh, <laughs> we're fighting against the garrison of Vilnius. We are landing troops behind the Russian lines up at Arkhangelsk. We are also, actually, I think we're one one province away from the Ottoman Empire being completely annihilated. And that will open up a lot of things in the south, because then that suddenly the uh, the Russian <laughs> the Russian interior that we've got exposed to, exposure to, as well as more fronts against Persia. So let's... Ooh, hello... Let us defend the hill. So, the conventional battle line. Drop another division over onto the right. Two units. There's reinforcement. We've got another. We've got a bug general unit and a bugged uh, howitzer unit. Not just any howitzer unit. 32 pounder heavy horse artillery. Them deployed and get my 12 pounders a little bit close to the line. Okay. Cavalry. Get over here. Oh, my pikemen. Yeah, pull them back. Look at this flank, you men. Probably block off that cavalry unit. Come on, cavalry. I'm gonna get some friendly fire here, but I don't mind. Ride down the hill. It's like the proper. Lord of the Rings moment. My gun, my infantry are going to be fired off. Oh. The new cavalry is so big. Fire at will on. My gun is a salon. Fire at will with, with round shot and that's okay. But for now, let's switch to quick lime. Let's also take my infantry. It's going to take a long time for this militia unit to come in. And my Lancer guards are going to charge the rear. The mercenaries, howitzers, try to pick them off. My, ge oh, my general fell against a militia. Very well. That is how you feel about it. My pikemen are oh, interesting. My, actually, my guerrilla mercenaries, those guerrilla mercenaries are actually causing quite a lot of consternation. If we can knock out those Eastern European mercenaries, then what we can do is get on the offensive. Get on the offensive, let's give them my general's bodyguard, because they're no longer that useful here. Two guys probably give away two units. Proclaim enemy concentrations. Gunners engage the regiment of horse. Pikemen push. Uh, you men just charge the militia. Hussars hit the mercenaries. 
Got my bodyguard. Keep driving around the flank. Gunners pound this concentration of enemy infantry. So you're not going to be reloaded in time. Give my general's bodyguard around to hit the 31st. Go inside it. Oh no, who quick climb? <laughs> God damn it. Come on. You may have obliterated one of my guard's units, but my god, it did the same to them. Always got to be careful with quickline. You men attack. Fifth foot guards. That's everyone from here coming in by the looks of it. Let's get my cavalry deployed. No, don't go after them actually. This is why we have infantry. I mean, my pikemen there are going to have a great time against the enemy line. Advance. It's technically in a good position, so let's just push one corner up. Dremel's bodyguard could just a fight to the death, effectively, because they are no longer important. I'm not sure why, what my Freikor are doing over there. They got Dremel's bodyguard got Okay, right. Dremel's bodyguard don't give a damn. Pikemen are going to drive through. Actually, let's get all my howitzers to engage the 9th Regiment, of course, with Bjorni Strutzi. Yeah, my general's body got finally broke. Some new men. Push up and advance on the front. I mean, this is pretty neat. Biolock arm citizenry are routing, so we're going to send one infantry unit to charge them in the rear. Just to make sure they do leave the battlefield. Should go for the garrison guards. Then Cursier. Still going after the regiment of line infantry. Form square to outflank the enemy here. And they are falling quite rapidly, although they are, they are managing to recover their health or their morale. Regiment of horse did end their routing. Go get the howitzers. You men charge the good of mercenaries, you men just simply advance. You men chase down. Okay, right, let's start speeding up time. Yeah, we do want to continue because we've got a lot of Russians on the field. Hello, it's the new general. You come from quite a good direction. Cease fire the guns. Now don't go for the Strutzi, don't uh, go for the Garuda mercenaries, or go for the Regiment of Line as well. Okay, so yeah, bring you guys back. Yeah, go for the line up between the centre, it's not going to be long till uh, everyone is dead. Well, the most efficient mopping up ever done. So, I mean, those aren't the howitzer crewmen. Looks like they are. They were here somewhere. Oh, they're dead. Ah, they were out. 
Tilt. There we go. There are a few cock-ups there, but you know, first recording session of the first recording, first battle of the session, I think is how I'm going to phrase that. And why have you gone that way? Oh well. Either way, the Persians are coming for Baghdad. As are the Ottomans from the north, so we probably want to quite aggressively deploy. Make sure you're targeting the port, so you're pretty good. You'll hold on quite well. Can Balthazar Faber, can he leave Ardabil? Minus one. Yes, he can. Go straight for the Erevan. So next turn, we will destroy the uh, Ottoman Empire. So let's drop some... Well, let's not go too mad, actually, because we've not got much cash. Heroic death. We've had this general for a long time. Karl Strack. Replenish. So let's take... Wolfgang Tobelman. And let's take Herbert Tauber. And go for the head of this Russian column before we finally attack Vilnius. Because we've got a large number of Russians here that would be good to kill. And we're going to bring some uh, rockets into the fray. Which will be the first time I think we've managed to... Um, yeah, I think it's the first, it'll be our first battlefield use of Rocket technology, I believe. Well, let's see. Let's get cracking. Got some good infantry as well. Well, we're going to really want to make use of our howitzers because we are going to try and want to kill the enemy, not just send them scattering back. So let's keep our formation mobile for now to Freikor I mean in theory they should come in more behind the enemy I go keep my marines on the left my grenadier guard hold the ground behind as a bit of a reserve. Then rocket artillery! A really big range for rockets. A couple of units of cavalry, split them on each flank, cuirassier and other cuirassier. General in the centre. My guns unlimbered. So it appears any reinforcements are coming in from a good direction. Rocket artillery. I think rockets are like mortars in that you can make them move, it's just a pain. Fire! Salvo rockets in the air against the Cossack infantry. No. Their artillery. Our own guns are also attacking the enemy horse artillery. Mortars. Howitzers switched to round shot. Let's well, switch to quick climb rather. Foot artillery continue their bombardment as planned. Because they're going for the enemy guns. We destroyed one enemy gun. Ooh, getting into range of my marine musket fire. Okay, because the enemy is coming in on the left, I'm going to commit my, my guard regiments. On the left, more rocket fire. So 
So you men keep engaging. Six pounders, you men engage. Some nearer targets. Yeah, see if I make the rockets attack, they just start moving. So I do have to just sit there and let they shoot at whatever they want to shoot at within range. Commit my cavalry. Good enemy of Bjorni Stretzi. Switch these guns to shrapnel sharp. Focus on the 27th. Depends how much how close they are to firing. Good hits. Oh, a lot of good hits. They're definitely not going to make it. Switch to round shot. Continue engaging the enemy guns. My right flank can pivot. You keep engaging the Bjorni Strelzi. General's bodyguard is routing. Here comes the enemy mass charge. Crap, more shot. men on to fire at will because the enemy mass is coming switch these guns to canister shot oh foe Jaeger Sophia they didn't deploy you guys bring my curiosity air back because it looks like we might have to no we've seen off an enemy charge focus your fire Got shrapnel shot in Cossacks from range. To be honest, I might just have shrapnel shot on in general because it's quite a good field of fire. Cossack infantry beginning their drills. Let's pivot my guards so they're a bit more central. Get my Felt Jaeger Sophia also up in, into the fight. I've, I have and I've recently got quite a whole new appreciation for uh, ranged ranged cavalry. I used to think it was fairly worthless, but apparently not. Oh, Fel Jaeger, reload! Your enemy are in the woods. Shots doing its brutally work. Retarget the howitzers. But it looks like well, that's a lot of routing Russian troops. Who are you? Cossack infantry. Yeah, rockets are going for the enemy artillery. That's not terrible. They might be inflicting slow, slow amounts of, slow amounts of uh, additional damage. Switch to shrapnel shot. Actually, no. You go for the Cossacks. Let's get a howitzer unit to engage these Cossacks and fusiliers on the right. Boy, my curiosity air to smash into the hundred and sixth. We've got a good position against the 79th to blast them with shrapnel shot. Rockets away. Switch this 12 pounder to 
round shot. Keep attacking the horse artillery. Cossack infantry is taking losses against my cavalry. So let's bring them back. Shot the fifth if you reload in time. Stand up guards and at them. Track was shot away. Oh. <laughs> With the rocket fire in the background, it's beautiful. Okay, let us redeploy our line. You're limbered up, you're limbered up, you're limbered up. You're going to be limbered up. Because really I want these units. You plus you two. Double time it on top of this hill. These gunners maybe pivot over to here so they can begin to bombard the hill at range. I don't know, we might, we might be useful to have one gun back here doing stuff. Get our howitzers limbered up for sure. fellows. Also get over to this high ground. My QSC air will make sure it is secure. Rocket troop advance. They will slide along the ground. Enemy cavalry is coming in. Got Jaeger. Charge the Cossacks. Guard ceasefire. Guard advance into the trees. There you go, the Bert Jaeger. Keep killing them. Cursia regiment to taxis. This is the famous taxi regiment. I mean, yeah, you see, these 12 pounders can keep firing. Yeah, they're going to take a while to move. I'm not sure if these guys ever move. I want to get you guys within range of this hill. Curious, yeah, I'm going to go for this regiment, of course. Gunners engage enemy guns in the distance. There goes the enemy regiment, of course. And you will chase them off. To be honest, keep advancing my howitzers up. So they're real close. Let's get my rockets to provide some bombardment support. So you you threaten the guns, but there's another enemy army coming in, so you don't want to get too aggressive. So you're going to smash into the side of these fusiliers. So I can put more of my firepower in destroying this enemy concentration. 
and we will walk up our front line. So you don't want to get there too soon. Not before the 23rd has a chance to destroy <coughs> the <coughs> destroy the 102nd. Sorry. There are only fusiliers. They will not last. 67 men left. Where's my fur? Yeah, yeah. Good, you've wiped them out. Stay clear on the flank. Send my Cressia. No, not, not towards the enemy. Horse Grenadier Guard. Pull back. Okay, let's get my cavalry up on the hill. We are starting to witness all of the bad things that happen when you're within range of the enemy's fire support. You've got a number of your guns. You're nearly in range. That's the enemy carcass shot coming in. Picking away at my actual formations of troops. This unit of power says just attack ground towards the enemy threat. Just keep dropping quicklime on their axis of advance. Doesn't matter who we hit, doesn't matter what we hit, but we will hit. We will hit a lot of stuff. Because a lot of enemy infantry comes through this direct line. Push back the horse going to guards. Ooh, some of my... You switch to round shot. Keep bombarding enemy in the distance. Grenadier guards are. Oh, they dismounted. That was bad news for them. Get my marines up towards the wood with my grenadier guard. I see my. I see the enemy militia. Charge them, bring the 23rd horse. Greater guards over here. Also fight. Okay. And more to company. That probably won't tore you up. Smack the 58th. The enemy militia are, are shattered. Okay, man. This, uh, this army is a bit is getting a, a bit depleted. My cuirassier got involved in a combat. Now, there's their only guerrilla mercenaries. Take them out. Howitzers engage men on the hill. Bring my cavalry back. Continue skirmishing. Keep on squeezing. Still squeezing. Should be an excellent hit on those infantrymen. Which is combined actually because they all decided to overlap. Curacy Air smack the unit of hand mortars because hand mortars are scary.
Oh, it's the target at 111, because that's what's preventing us from advancing up the hill. Actually, you might want to go for the Cossacks on the flank as well. Charge into that militia unit. Okay, there we go, they're done for. Artillery engage 116th. Still have shrapnel shot in play. Okay, crank forward. Howitzers, ceasefire, limber up. Here I see air go for the six pounders because they're right there. Pivot my line infantry back. Gunners. All my gunners limber up. There you are. Push the howitzers forward. Gunners. Artillery. You can get up here. Okay, let's pop up the hill. My men are going to be very tired. But this is a significant moment. Keep pivoting. Then my cavalry in to slow down the Cossack infantry. I'm going to need my general up here soon because everyone's very upset. Bert Jaeger, get up here. That's my Kyosier. Kyosier, get up here. Got a full strength Cossack infantry unit. We're just trying to buy time here now. Advance! The very tired infantry. New men get stuck in. There you go, the first foot guards smashes the 93rd. How about you? Bell Jaeger, get involved as well. The Curacier finally routed. And the cavalry is being latched with musket fire. Rest of my men commit. I mean, I suppose it is, this doesn't really do anything, but it's a bit thematic at least. Yeah, commit to the enemy's final defeat. That's the 93rd Regiment, but they will go down soon. Bring my general in because I've got a unit of enemy gunners. Although, to us, the 45th will attack the men at the guns. Got my marines and my grenadier guard here attacking the, Bjor the Bjorni Skrutzi. There they go. But well, the gunners have decided to rout. How about you? Yeah, I'd call that a good victory. That was a good battle. Lost 827, they lost 4743. Back you devils go. So yeah, that's why I wanted the 
reinforcement of Mr. Talber just in case something went awry. You can go back to protecting your... Well, you can probably just... No, go back to protecting your city for now. We can repair you. Got a lot of stuff to upgrade. Uh, let's get another galley. 10,000. Yeah, we need to break through here at some... Well, sooner or later. Mr. Eichberg is replenishing. Mr. Hartman is replenishing. Okay. So we've got you up here. Demand surrender of Archangelsk. We can repair the government building. Send my spy over towards Kazan. My infantry and uh, Rydrik Thaba can push straight out of Archangelsk, straight on to Ust. You're pushing on up towards that Russian army to the north. So, Mr. Steinheil here at Petrovskaya can move out to secure this bridge. Good, let's get some repairs on the go. So like I said, we've got a lot of things we can build. Like, lots of these territories back here don't even have good roads. Um, ah, we will auto the assault on Vilnius, because we have effectively fought that earlier. Let's get the city rebuilt. Let's get the army replenished. 2,900... Fishing port in Tripoli, church school in Anatolia. Keep these guys pushing along the roads. You're going to boot them out of Sinope. Secure the port. Good. You're going to keep keep driving towards Baghdad. You're going to catch. You're going to see if well, in case anything goes wrong. Get more men over here. If nothing else, when we take Yerevan next turn, all of these troops will disappear, and then we can just smash into Esfahan and push up into Tbilisi and Taki and all the lands beyond. At some point, we do want to hit. I suppose, do we attack them now? I mean, that's a very cheap. Well, we'll fight it. Just to open the way towards Ayasi. We're ready for next turn. Should be able to do this without too much attrition. Yeah, go in, make our way towards another territory, and then, th and then on the southern front, uh, that leaves uh, Crimea exposed, it leaves Kyiv exposed from the southwest, so yeah, I think bad times ahead for Russia. My artillery, former Grand Battery, make sure my guns are placed the same well, at the same like position forward we are going to make sure we don't fire at will off the bat my gun is here okay we're just trying to just uh, get this over with as quickly as possible we do have reinforcements coming in but actually let's keep my well I suppose they're not really ranged cavalry anymore Huh. Take half my infantry, face them off against Poland. Take the other half of my infantry, advance them towards Russia. Get my Chevrolet up first quickly. Provincial Cav, Dragoons, Artillery, Provincial Cav. But there we go, we've, we've got our freedom to manoeuvre. Some heavy horse guard. Who do you want to shoot? Alright, well, off. Too late. Shot a bunch of my Marines in the back. 
keep attacking the Hussars. We're not going to kill them because some of them are back here in the woods, but... Cavalry, cavalry, push up. Here comes the enemy provincial cavalry. Okay, let's use my howitzers to keep dropping quick climb ahead of my defensive line. Enemy general has fallen. We're going to push the Russians out of their defensive line. Keep pushing cavalry away, back behind their defenses. Oh no, not provincial cavalry. Yeah, oh no. Form square. That will deal with them. My guns cease fire. Okay, that's the enemy Polish general defeated. Hohenzollern, go for the first regiment of foot. get my general involved in this engagement see we're not doing anything here except attacking ground but let's just cease fire because you men can advance okay there we go there goes the Russian army Keep on. Just get past. There's my general. There he is. There we go. Now we're engaging in a bit of traditional musketry against Poland. But again, provincial cavalry, no bueno. Let's get my horse grenadiers, horse grenadier guards to go after the enemy pillory to the rear. You men drop into square again. Keep on running. Oh, they deployed stakes, so watch out for that. Oh, they're dead. Sweet. Yeah, you go for the Guerrilla Mercenaries, you men hold your ground. Kill as many of these horse carriers as you can. Ooh, provincial horse. Regiment of horse. Oh no, they do. Okay, they are still here somewhere. Knocking men flying. I'm happy to take a few casualties in the pursuit of enemy destruction. Which it looks like we are going to get. Well, relatively. Let's all go up here. It's all, uh... Oh, we lost one cuirassier there. And we've got some of the enemy foot artillerymen. Nine men. So there's two here. Where's the third? Oh, they must have been there all along. Nice.
Yeah, the only objective there really was to knock out these two armies. You men replenish. Mr. Lightner can now push out. You men can advance and be ready next turn to jump on IST. And let's get some replenishment done. We're not going to be doing any more fighting this turn. Okay, let's check some of our basic infrastructure needs. Everyone's replenished as far as I can tell. Path block, region capture, trait gain, heroic death, that's my fault. Still carrying on with our with our economic text, that's good. Let's hit end turn. My spies are on the move. So Poland, Lithuania, you gotta be look feeling a bit vulnerable. I mean your capital's pretty secure. I mean no, I'm not gonna waste my time attacking that. No. If you want to give some Petersburg, you are welcome. I mean, yeah, we could push on Moscow, but I like the idea of surrounding it. Oh no, you want to go for a sloop, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, fourth rate, sorry. Yes. Water resolve's got my back. I haven't forgotten about the uh, about the. Uh, Venetians and the Knights of St. John, but it looks like the Ottomans are content to uh, not attack me, which spells their doom. Because that means they are not able to stop me from attacking their last territory. Gonna have to redeploy some men south. Ah. Russian raiders on the moon. Excellent. The defensive ring around Laval or Lviv has been broken. You're not going to get to Baghdad in time to make a difference. In fact, I welcome you to attack me because you've probably got a pretty poor army. Let's do this. 33,000 again. Damascus Staff College, Global Trading Companies galore. Yes, we've got some raiders. Let's bring you men down here. Just to stop those guys from being able to break through confidently. Okay, so Mr. Merck is replenishing. We're probably gonna want Oh you need a new general, don't you? Oh and you've not been replenishing this whole time. So we're gonna need to fight this battle against Abraham Alexiev and Justin Jastrovich. We are gonna put Ayasi under siege, because we will want to fight that. Really, I think what we're gonna want to what we're gonna want to do though in this episode is attack the last Ottoman territory. We want the Yerevan. Because this will be the end of the Ottoman dynasty, and it looks like Georgia is actually completely undefended. So uh yeah, we could do a bit of a blitz through Russian territory here, which would be pretty awesome. Let's get this battle over with first, and especially with Georgia. Georgia's got a university, and they generally have a bit more uh, resistance to foreign occupation, so we really can't need to wait until we get more armies into the area before we can really conduct our offensive. So. My guns are going to plink from the safety of this raised platform. My, ooh, we've got, we have the advantage on the high ground, eh? Let's put a contingent of infantry up here to drive down off of the hill to push them away from their defences. Then another contingent to march 
right up into their faces. And the army that's in their faces will get the power to support. A mixture of heavy and light cavalry, or two on the flank, and then two in the gap in the center. General in the center. Hey, you do, you can hit something. Oh, it's their, their artillery is what you can hit. Same with all of my foot artillery. To be honest though, it looks like we're in a position where we could capture some quite key terrain. Cavalry's no good on the right really, so what I'm going to want to do is probably bring them all over on the left. The enemy's double downing on their decisions and they're digging in. You can keep bombarding their mortars, that's okay. There's more and more men are advancing into the, into the range of our guns. Let's speed up time though, because we're just we are just deploying. There we go. These armed populace and riskers of souls will face the drilled musketry of the Bavarian soldier. Good. Then they're going to reload their guns. The riskers of souls. Get ready to see them off. Reload! What we are going to want to do is start to... Well, no, to be honest, they're going to come to us. Alright, we'll offer you fellows. We do have some Islamic swords on the flank, they might be a bit iffy. The enemy's center of gravity is right here. Actually, use my gunners to engage the Islamic swords, my foot gunners, my howitzers keep dropping shells into the center of this enemy concentration. Push my cavalry forward, they'll deal with the risks of souls that are attempting to flank. You know, our populace are moving up. My cavalry. You are brave men, but you are squidgy men. The risks of souls are broken. Push my Val Dragoons around to go for the enemy general. Avoid this battle in the centre because it looks like it's just carnage at the minute. Keep my Val Dragoons running then. My Prussianek horse can go for the general. My Val Dragoons go for the Azar. The Garrison Islamic Swordsmen have charged into the centre. Where they too have been damaged by enemy or by my gunfire. Garrison Azar. Even angled to face off more against the vulnerable flank. So you men all pivot. Oh, you guys go for the riskers of souls, so that way I don't have to leave my leave my grenadiers hanging, although that's definitely that that battle's over. You know, I'm going to let you get away with that, Ottomans. I'm going to let you get away with that because it's not going to do you any good. Hurrah, we lost 80 men in the conquest of Yerevan. It's going to chug for a second. 
because any minute now ta -da! Yaravan let's rebuild the government building let's get a church school on the go let's get some better roads and let's prepare the iron workshops and Ottomans are gone so Georg Goodman give you an order to go for Cherkask and then give Alexis Müller an order to go for Tarki because you're going to go for well I wonder actually yeah, they can they can accept us not being here. So you guys are going to blitz straight on to Tbilisi. And this force here, Sigmund, you're going to come down here towards Baghdad. And these armies are going to try and get into positions on the West Bank. Plan it or repair the, the uh, religious building. You got two. That's a Jesuit, a Jesuit college, Catholicism. Making sure that no one's coming here and sneakily built a. Yeah, we don't need two. Sweet. But there goes the Ottoman Empire, and that's really quite big because that opens up a lot of doors for us. Um, and we've got no money, so I'm probably going to end turn and see what happens. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, but I can't really do them. <laughs> you're gonna keep you know, you're gonna do that automatically though. Keep my spies pushing, but I think this is gonna be the end for Russia as well. They may be able to send raiding forces out to disrupt our plans, but they won't be able to actually stop them. Yeah, they can't work out what they're gonna do. I wish Poland advanced into my roadway. Okay, you're going to need to be de you're going to need to be dealt with. Oh, you right. Oh, right. Okay, I need to I need to deal with that army in the north. Ah, oh, they're going to continue to raid me. Okay, I've got a few frustrating battles here to fight next. 68,000, that's more like it. Very well. First of all, you men demand the surrender of Tbilisi. Took it without a fight. We can get rid of the classical university. How much does that help? It helps, but not a huge amount. I'm going to get rid of this dockyard as well. Once you repair the governor's building, that'll really help. Mr. Guzman. Gotcha, Kask. Yeah, you go on to Taki. Infrastructure's getting built. Let's build a governor's mansion. Upgrade the church school and Ardabil. Upgrade the roads. New town emerges. Misrata and Tripoli. Good, you can have a church school. And, oh, that's also another one in Tunis. Smiths and a church school. Good God, a Naba. Got a trade port and a church school. We well, you know we don't really have to, but we've got a lot of religious unrest, so let's start to try and convert people. Traits gained, lots of good spying traits. Yeah, we've got this guy. Which we can bring you back to deal with. Still got the rebels but that's okay God. to be honest situation I is a lot better okay so Mr. Weingart is going to push up to here oh no they've intercepted us whatever will we do but looking at the timer I believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed we'll see you next time for the first actual field battle I think against a Persian army. So see you next time, everyone. Mm -hmm.